Hello everybody, I'm back here again for another vlog day, and today is Sunday the 26th, and today was a lovely day outside for weather, absolutely beautiful. Started off a little bit chilly this morning, but it warmed up just insanely gorgeous. A um, little bit warm, but absolutely not a problem at all, and then cooled back off the evening, just beautiful again. So, could not have asked for a better day, absolutely. A um, little bit of wind here and there. Should have been the day we was kayaking instead of kayaking yesterday in the 17 plus mile an hour winds. That was a little bit much, but it is what it is when you learn and you basically have those adventures and those great stories to tell. So, got up this morning, got a couple things accomplished, nothing real major. Um, decided to head over to Orlando to hang out with... Um, Craig and basically, um, well, we went over. Karen made up some peanut butter bagels, which worked out really well. She got, I never thought this was possible. I've always said, anybody who tells you you're putting too much peanut butter on something is not somebody you want in your life because there's no such thing as too much peanut butter on a sandwich or whatever. And she proved that wrong. Like, she made the fact there is always an opportunity to, um, I guess, create a, um, a thing I never thought was possible. That's a bagel with too much peanut butter on it. It was just, it was insane. It was so good. I love peanut butter, but it was just like, wow, that's like, I literally had like two bites in the middle, like the, where the hole was, like peanut butter shoved in there. It was like two giant spoonfuls full of peanut butter and no bagel. Like I had two bites out of there with like no bagel at all. It was just peanut butter. And it's hard to do, um, just it's hard to eat that it's a lot it was just all over my mouth it was absolutely amazing but it was also at the same time I was like oh my god I've never thought that was possible so I used to laugh at her because like she'd put like you know making a sandwich she'd put peanut butter or macro whip or something on a sandwich and she thinks she put too much on I'm like that's not even close to enough and I think she was just testing me just like kept putting more and more on until this time like I literally I think there's still peanut butter in the back of my mouth like I've not gotten it out yet so so damn much peanut butter is amazing and um, terrifying that she would push it to such a level there was like eight servings of peanut butter on there it was like half a jar on one bagel it was awful so went ahead um got that done luckily she did put them in ziploc bags for the drive over because like i could not have ate that and drove without the ziploc um, bag like a little safety um, catch all of that so we had over there um, stopped and got gas and i didn't even have it done yet like i was literally it was so looked so long to eat it was disgusting like it was like almost disappointing like i should be able to eat this bagel a lot faster than this and i just could not get that peanut butter down it was it was actually actually kind of funny but it would have helped I would have had some tea or something but I was like not drinking any tea or water yet in the morning just to see how long I could go before I really felt like I needed something to drink which was also something I never do I wake up in the morning I start just drinking you know lots of water or tea right away and it was so now you add no drinking and on top of that that much peanut butter really became a struggle in my life it's it's just a struggle most of you won't understand I mean it is a first world problem but it is a problem that I had to overcome and I'm willing to accept it again someday try it again and we'll see what happens but got out of the house um on our way into the place we found out the house a couple doors down which where one of karen's friends grew up sissy i think is what she calls her but um their house was getting remodeled they'd sold it and it's getting remodeled by a house flipper and it's actually gonna be a tv show called zombie flippers i think it is zombie house flipper something like that and i basically just walked in there and started talking to the guys working there and then i knew because karen had wanted to see inside i was pretty certain knowing that she grew up in that house some, um, you know, I asked the guy, he's like, yeah, no problem, you know, have a look around. So I went and went around, text Karen, had her come down so she could check it out. So it was just way different. They're moving walls around, putting new rooms that weren't there and whatnot. So that was interesting. Um, talked to the guy for a while. Nice guy. Um, he's not really on the show, but it's like, I think it's his dad that's doing the TV show. So there's a lot of that involved. And I knew there was something up because the construction site had the portage on on it. And very few construction sites have portage on them unless there's, codes and their you know the tv crew and that kind of crap they got to make sure they're meeting every single requirement even though a construction site is supposed to have a portage on they don't none of them ever do so i knew there was something going on there with what was happening with that whole thing but um had a good talk with him ended up the house chilling out helped move out some carpet we had some carpet need to be gotten rid of and thrown out and trying to pick up a giant heavy ass desk and move it off the way and i was like this is dumb let's just cut it up so we cut the carpet up made it easier to move out and then it made it easier to pick up the um Take the cat or the um, the desk to get the parts out. Got that done, and then they were just kind of cleaning the house up and whatnot. I ran to the Home Depot, got a key, came back, hung out for a few more hours, and just had what seemed like a great time. Um, just nothing real major, just a real simple time. Heading home, um, everything seemed fine, no problem at all. Get a call and he's freaking out again. So definitely, it's just a lot of that um, drama that takes place with that whole thing and. 
hopefully we're working through that and it's going to keep getting less and less the drama and more and more of the semi-positive working towards an actual positive situation um on the way home we stopped by her other job did some accounting some payroll work and that ended up coming home after that um basically got um actually I guess we did all the way back from the, the food store but anyway we came back home dropped bruce off headed up to port orange to pick up my um, bill receptor for the claw machine that I bought the other day. Um, went and met him, went to BJ's, went to Walmart, got our grocery stuff on the way home. Then we stopped with the frozen stuff in the car, stopped by and did the payroll and that uh, for her other job and got home. Went for my run, got my shower. She put away clothes and stuff. Um, but she both got her shower finally. Uh, had herself a quick meal and she is now exhausted. She's down there giggling at the stupid things I'm saying, trying to go to sleep. So. Hopefully she'll get some good rest. Um, she's got something very, very important tomorrow. She's got her um, job interview. Hopefully that goes well. And trying to make sure she has a stressless night as possible and mostly the stressless day tomorrow before her job interview. So that's all we got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We won the lottery. We won uh, Mega Millions. Um, lottery ticket was a winner. So I forgot to tell you about that part. Anyway, talk to you soon. Have a great day.